People often ask me, but what if someone steals the food? And then my only question is, how can you steal something that's free? The Free Food Fridge Project is a community and mutual aid project to provide free food for folks in marginalized communities. Having a project like this is providing those fresh and healthy foods that we all deserve to have. It's our right to eat healthy. It's our right to eat food from the earth. Like that's our natural born right. And not having access to that when we just have you know, stores with boxed food or non-perishables that don't go bad for years at a time, that's not healthy for us as humans. And we, get, we should be replenishing ourselves and nourishing ourselves from the earth. There's been a huge tidal wave of resources that are being redistributed into communities. And I think that people are noticing that they have resources that they can give and that they can share. And so it's been a spreading of the wealth in many different ways people are giving and wanting to donate to the Fridge Project. Having the resources of other people and being able to share those has been really helpful. And so giving those resources and then actually putting the fridge out and filling it, people are like, oh, I get it. And like, it, I, can just, I can just take food? I'm like, yeah, it's yours, it's ours. So language that is used around marginalized communities that don't have access to food are often called food deserts. It just doesn't make sense. The people who are here are experiencing a food apartheid. There is a lack of resource, there's a lack of food. You can tell the difference in the streets in different neighborhoods, where the money is being put into the cities and where it's not. And so it's systemic. The way that people don't get food in these neighborhoods is a systemic problem that we need to help fix. I believe that the fridge is helping combat the apartheid, the food apartheid happening here because it is a, another resource in the very small neighborhood that it's in. On this block alone, there are no grocery stores. There are two corner stores and a liquor store, and there's nowhere to get fresh food. Not one single place. <music> For me, this has been about reparations and reparations for the community at large. And I thought, how can we get everybody on board together? Mm -hmm. And so now we're creating partnerships. There's creating just a bigger sense of community in a way that I don't think existed before. And it's simply just a fridge. People are now like, how can we do this in our neighborhood? How can we keep making this happen? How can we keep filling the fridge? How can we help? I want people to feel that again, it is their right to have free food and access to healthy and free food. So creating this on a larger scale, as well as creating more of these around the city. What has been so astonishing to me is the fridge is emptied every single day. And it's not someone coming and taking a bunch of food at once, it's many people coming up and taking just what they need. And that's been a really beautiful thing to watch.